Donnelly, huh? There's not much to see in Donnelly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Other than uh, the stinker gas mart. It's real soft right there. Find some topless guys with Dodge Ram tattoos. Gotta watch out for the death. Dang. Just crossed the border, we're in Idaho. Next stop, Tamarack Resort and Bike Park. I'm just gonna send it! Super cool to see what's going on here. I've been here 16 years, so we pretty much saw Tamarack open. Welcome to the Tamarack Resort and Bike Park. We are excited to kick off season two of our North American Bike Park yeah. review tour and bring you guys along for the ride as we check out a lot of the amenities, uh, off mountain adventures, and of course, the mountain bike trails that you can find here at Tamarack. Located about 90 miles north of Boise, Tamarack Resort sits on the edge of Lake Cascade and the nearby town of Donnelly, Idaho. So Tamarack Resort has been open for just under 20 years and have had a, a bit of an interesting past in that uh, couple of decades. And it looks like the new owners here are really committed to making a, a world-class experience from the construction of the awesome new village that is still going on, renewing and reinvigorating some of the old trails and plans for future trails, which we had a chance to learn about with the bike park and terrain manager, Mitch. Hi, my name is Mitchell Herline. I'm the bike park manager here at Tamarack Resort. I do the bike park trails in the summer and the terrain parks in the winter. So we've got 1,700 vertical feet of lift access mountain biking, 25 miles of trail with XC network out in the meadows as well in the wildwood zone. We've got three hand crew, myself uh, and another operator. So of those 25 miles of trail, we've got nine beginner trails, four blue and a couple of black and double black diamond trails, which are gonna be more on the technical, raw and uh, steep and rocky side of things. A couple of things we have in the works right now, we're looking at creating a green route from the top to the bottom. Um, currently right now, we just have one section left to complete. Beginner trails are gonna be very friendly to beginner riders. We've been to a lot of mountains. Some beginner trails aren't always that beginner friendly. The stuff here at Tamarack can be ridden by true beginners. You can get a chairlift ride up to the top and ride some pretty low grade, pretty buffed out. It's got some real nice berms and some pretty smooth terrain. The next thing we're gonna be working on yet this summer uh, is a flow trail from hub one to five and that's gonna be a jump flow style trail. It's gonna be a much wider open. You're gonna be able to go a lot faster and you're gonna see jumps that are bigger than most of the trails out there for our more advanced riders. It's gonna really reward riders for going faster and going bigger. Once you move up to the blue, there are trails that are still going to be fun for advanced level riders on shorter travel bikes. Both the green and blues are going to be a little bit overkill for a downhill bike. We really want to start developing into our black and double black options. Once you get into the black and double blacks, be prepared for some rocky, steep, technical rides. There are definitely some kind of awkward, tough lines to get into, some kind of janky corners with some kind of jutting out high rocks. So um, definitely a lot of fun and a lot of uh, work to learn the lines, kind of memorize everything. Took us a few days and a few runs to kind of get everything figured out. So ultimately the goal of Tamarack was to create a year-round resort where we've got great skiing in the winter and a multitude of options in the summer. And so developing the bike park out from here on out and just making more and more trails with 
better options for riders is ultimately going to bring uh, a great destination for people in Idaho. Day one. I'm, get, I'm getting old, I guess. I'm starting to think a little farther ahead. I chickened out. If you're looking for a great way to cool off or have some fun on a rest day, boat rentals and other lake activities can be found just minutes away from the resort. I'm gonna go get some boating on. Maybe wakeboard, wake skate. You can get barreled. <laughs> it is so pitted. In the green room. <laughs> We had a great time wake surfing on one of the resort's several rental boats. The pleasantly warm water makes the lake a must visit. Whether you're looking to boat, fish, swim, or paddleboard, the warm water and epic views from the lake make this a must do. So much closer. Totally missed him. Totally missed him. <laughs> he, he jumps better on that was a on bad jump. As if the trails on lake didn't keep us busy enough, we decided to spend a morning ziplining. Got this really safe helmet on. He's so. signed the waiver. He's got the helmet on. He's good. Heading up the chairlift right now for the zipline tour. Dustin's really nervous about it. That's why he's, he's so quiet. He normally yeah, talks right. all the time. Never reach out towards the cable. You guys get a rash of burn. We don't want that to happen today. He's gonna send the zip over there. Kind of show us how it's done. If you've got some thrill seekers in your group that aren't interested in the trails, the zipline tour is a great way to get you some epic views and top-notch scenery from up on the mountain. With eight zip lines, two suspension bridges, and a 105 foot tall stop into a treehouse, the zip line tour is a fun way to still get some adrenaline flowing while letting your body take a rest. After epic days full of fun, it's important to make sure you refuel yourself for the next day's adventure. The nearby town of Donnelly doesn't have a ton of options for dining, but this one sure stood out. We went down to Donnelly to check out the Regazza di Buffalo, or Regazza di Buffalo restaurant, which they suggest is a great spot if you want to have something fancy down in the town of Donnelly. So let's see what they got on the menu. Get that tiramisu coconut dessert. You got that? So obviously it's an Italian restaurant. What are you guys most known for? What are your specialties? What are people? Pastas. Yeah, our pastas. Okay. We serve fresh pastas. We're doing a yak Italian sausage pasta right now. That's excellent. Really nice homemade marinara sauce. Uh, there's some seafood manicotti with some lobster and crab. It's really great. It's because our pastas and our ribeye is really good too. And you guys change the menu up pretty frequently. Change the menu seasonally about three, uh, or three or four times a year. So, awesome. Yeah. The proprietors of the restaurant wanted to escape busy city life while also bringing some fine dining culture and cuisine to rural Idaho. If you're looking for post-dinner activities, there's not a ton of options in Donnelly, but the Perch and Cougar Daves are certainly worth a stop if you're looking for a nightcap. So as you can see behind, Tamarack is hard at work adding to the amenities, features. Um, they're building condos, restaurants bars for nightlife. Uh, they've got a great little market and coffee shop that are open right now where we're gonna head for some breakfast uh, before we spend the day out on the mountain bike trails. But uh, the, the overall look and vibe inside this village so far is really impressive and we'll be really excited to come back after it's all done and see just how nice the experience feels. Trailer, are we on? This is Smoke Jumper. Hot shot. Hot shot. Definitely one of my favorites so far. Not all that fun to hike back up, but it is a whole lot of fun to surf down. So it was almost like uh, some of the trails weren't even bike park trails. It was kind of like a, a backcountry experience that you just got a chairlift to the top of. It kind of gives you that rugged, raw, alpine feel, and uh, we really enjoyed that aspect of it. Oh 
fight. We definitely got through everything in the three days that we were here. The beginner and intermediate trails are very nicely groomed. They're smooth. They're gonna offer a really good experience for those lower level riders that are looking to get out, get some more vertical in, practice their cornering, and uh, feel like they're getting some good riding in on pretty mellow and well-groomed terrain. If you've got a downhill bike and you're looking for super gnarly, high-speed challenging stuff, uh, there's not a ton for you here yet. Uh, we are excited to see what the park will be adding in the future with the new staff and uh, kind of renewed direction and commitment that they look to be doing and accomplishing in the future. But there are some trails here that will definitely uh, make you work. There's lots of fun trails to be ridden down in the lower part below the mountain. So if you just want to go out and do some XC riding, if you've got an e-bike you want to come along and explore some trails, there's a lot of options here at Tamarack. If you've got youngsters in tow or just want to work on your own jumping skills, Tamarack just opened a brand new jump park and pump track just steps from the village which has some great features to progress your riding. To see it under new ownership and, and uh, both for the winter and the summer have been fantastic. If you're looking to stay walking distance from the village, the lodge at Osprey Meadows is a great option. They offer lots of great packages and a complimentary passport, which will give you vouchers for lots of activities both on the mountain and down at the lake below. So there you have it folks, Tamarack Resort and Bike Park. We've had an excellent three days here. Um, we've enjoyed all of the activities both on and off the mountain. If you're looking for a vacation, this is definitely a spot worth checking out, especially if you're in the Idaho area. We really had a blast out on the lake doing some wake surfing. Um, the resort's got yeah, boat rentals easily accessible. There's a really fun zip line course up on the mountain. The trail riding is definitely gonna be a little bit more suited towards a trail bike or something a little bit more in that like 160 or sub 180 range. We're excited to see the village get finished out from the groundwork and the construction going on. It looks like it's gonna be a very elite kind of top notch experience. Uh, I get to go out there and, you know, just be a kid in a sandbox and just make shapes, create features, and at the end of the day you get to go ride it. And it's just really no better feeling than getting to ride something that you built and you know people are going to get soaked on. <laughs> That's the line right there. Stay left. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in, guys. We're going to load up, hit the next stop. Make sure you check out the rest of the series as we've got plenty more bike parks to check out.